Good morning. I was asked to give a minute for mission on stewardship. So we have learned in circles and from the pulpit about the Ten Commandments, God's Ten Words, and that they are about our relationship with God and with one another, about loving God and loving neighbor. I find all of that lived out at Park Lake. I love the Lord and I love you, Park Lake. You are more than neighbors to me. You are family. In the best sense of the word, not the crazy uncle you have to deal with at the holidays kind of family. When I walk onto this campus, I am home. Dan and I began our family here. I was six months pregnant with Catherine when we joined. When she was three, Helen asked if I would help with vacation Bible school, something foreign to me growing up in the Catholic Church. And soon after that, Julia House, a pillar of Park Lake, who has joined the church triumphant, asked if I would serve in the Christian Education Committee. I have participated in both ever since, and each year you give your time and talent to VBS to make it a wonderful week for the children and the youth. You fed our family when we brought Rebecca home, and you gave us a baby shower. You walked alongside me as I shuffled around our neighborhood after my back surgery. You sent me lovely cards and hugged and prayed with me when my mother died. And you like going to rock concerts, too. You baptized and confirmed our girls and adopted them as your grandchildren. You taught Catherine how to play the handbells, and she continues to ring at Davidson. You've taken Rebecca to Cedar Kirk, where she has served with gusto at Bethel. With you, our family has put together blessing bags, served at Daily Bread, and sung Christmas carols to family and friends of Park Lake. You taught me how to update the church's website, and you have given me the opportunity to participate in and help teach the Disciples Sunday School class and Esther Circle. Listening to you and watching how you treat the friends and strangers among us, I have learned so much about loving God and loving neighbor. And there is so much more, but I only have three minutes. Once when I was teaching children's church, the lesson was on giving, and I taped 10 dimes onto a piece of cardboard. And I told the children that the 10 dimes represented all that we have, our time, our talent, our treasure, and that all that we have comes from God. You know, praise God, from whom all blessings flow. And that God, in his infinite grace, mercy, and love, says, you keep nine just use one for me and my ministries. It was not always easy for me to give, but those dimes reminded me of how blessed I am by God and by Park Lake. I know that I can trust God and that he will provide all that I really need. I give to support God's family and God's work in the world. Milan Murphy once shared how it is a privilege to participate in the work of the church that God calling us and trusting us with his church is a privilege, and I would add a pleasure. So thank you, Park Lake, for being family and for allowing me to participate.